Recently, the City of Houston and Writers in Schools announced High School for Performing and Visual Arts student Andrew White as Houston's first Youth Poet Laureate. Joining me now is our Poet Laureate, Andrew White. And congratulations. Oh, thank you. What was your reaction when you first found out about your selection? Uh, completely ecstatic. I was beyond excited, happy, whatever whatever word you want to use, that was me. So where were you when you found out? I was actually, uh, my mom takes classes at U of H, and I was at um, a coffee shop, uh, the Nook Cafe, right outside of the UH, U of H uh, Law Center. And <laughs> she sent me this email, uh, D she meaning uh, Deborah Muson, who's now become my contact with um, WITS. And uh, she sent me this email and said, please call me as soon as you can. And this was before I knew anything. So I was scared. I was very scared, you know, wondering what, what, what's going to happen. Uh? And um, I called her and she picks up the phone and she says, well, is this Andrew White? And I said, yes, ma'am. What can I help you with? And she says, well, uh, I'm sorry to have to inform you this, but you'll have to spend the next year as Houston Youth Poet Laureate. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I was just, I was just ecstatic. I was laughing uncontrollably. I was thanking her profusely. It was awesome. Wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit about what you wrote about, or do you want to share a piece of that with us? Absolutely. I will uh, share a piece that I wrote for the gala in which I was announced. Um, this piece is called Lunar Patterns. I never liked listening to modern love songs. You say that a bird's song sounds a lot like a plastic bottle's whistling through air conditioner vents. I always thought that a shadowy pen made on a page was like imprints on an asphaic moon. And as lunar patterns became our gods, poetry should become like scripture onto a city's landscape. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Impressive. Thank you. Thank you. So t tell me a little bit about how you arrive at pieces like that. Like the writing process, how do you try to start creating a piece, or does it just come to you? I think um, for my writing process, I'm just wait to be inspired, really. Um, there's a lot to be inspired about in my environment. I often go to coffee shops around the Montrose area, you know, uh, Siphon or um, you know, Catalina's, all these, all these coffee shops, and I love listening to conversation, love looking at images, walking down the streets, going there. Um, there's always something to write about, and um, if I don't, I just like to sit down and write as much as I possibly can just to see what comes out of it. Wow. <laughs> so it's been said that you are receiving a book deal from Penmanship Books. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you plan to submit to them. Well, I believe I'm going to submit um, close to anywhere, this is a wide range, but from 30 to 60 poems, mm -hmm. and um, I'm going to just be writing poems really dedicated to my br upbringing, uh, to Houston, just to my environment, um, just to kind of encapsulate what writing has done for me. So your experience at HSPVA, um, the Creative Writing Program, um, tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> HSPVA Creative Writing, um, I love that program. Um, it's, it really, um, in middle school, I was really, I knew I wanted to be a writer, or I knew I was good at writing, um, but I didn't really know how to really focus what I, all my writing energies onto what I wanted to do. Um, and so when I got to HSPBA, um, that really helped me figure it out um, from the wide environment of what we were given to write about, from sh short fiction to poetry, dramatic writing, journalism. Um, and then just l allowing me to grow that love and grow that skill in whatever focus I chose. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah sounds like an amazing place. Yeah. Um, so looking into the future, what do you see on the horizons for yourself? Uh, what I see, I, I see that I will become a writer. Um, either I love dramatic writing um, mm -hmm. as well as poetry, so I would love to continue my dramatic writing as well as poetry. Um, just, I don't know, living that dream um, artist life, so, you know, living in a city, writing poems, writing screenplays, <laughs> writing short stories. Uh, and that's, that's the life that I choose, and that's the life I want. <laughs> Sounds amazing. And I is there any um, preference on where you might want to attend college? I've been looking at a lot of dramatic writing programs, a uh, majority of them on East Coast, but um, I've also been looking at UT Austin, 
Um, I looked at Santa Fe, um, NYU, Emerson College, Fordham, uh, Wash U. <laughs> it's a very, very wide range of lists. DePaul University as well. Well, I'm very sure you will do well in any one of those that you choose and may be very lucky to have someone with your incredible talent. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. My pleasure.